ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel and welcome back to another list this time we're looking at the highest valued players on transfer market outside of the top five leagues i believe it is <laughs> five or six it depends how you count it with the portuguese league and french league but you'll see what i mean but what we'll do is according to transfer market uh, we will take a look at those t players, but before we do, make sure you like and subscribe to take a look at what it, we have going on on the channel. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, check it out. We've also got experiments coming up as soon as the editor's out and the full game. But whilst we're in beta, we've also also got the Southampton save going on, so check that one out. But like I say, let's jump straight into it and take a look at these players. <laughs> First up, we have Thiago Almada. He is someone that we all are fully aware of. 20 years old, an attacking midfielder for Velez, a player that you should always sign in Football Manager if you can. 20k a week, 4 to 12 million, absolutely worth signing. He's been decent for Velez, but he'll be brilliant for you in Football Manager. So good flair, penalty taking technique, absolutely fantastic player, and will be getting a move, I am sure of it to one of the big leagues soon next up is cody gakpo the 22 year old dutch international from psv he's only made one international appearance at this stage but he as i said he's only 22 i mean his valuation on the game is 14 to 44 million pounds uh transfer market does rate him slightly higher i believe but worth taking a look at absolutely could play on the left hand side or up front is one of those cut inside players with a good amount of pace with him, a bit of flair, and obviously 15 long shots. You can't can't look past that, along with the technique there as well. So certainly a player to keep an eye on. 17 goals in 25 appearances for PSV Jong, um, but also banging in the goals for PSV as well in the Eredivisie. So worth taking a look at and bringing him in with 6.75k per week uh, contract. It's a no brainer, really. Next, we have Sardar Azmoun, the Iranian striker. Um, he, it's quite interesting. His his transfer market value is well above his in-game value um, from FM. At 2.7 to 8.2 million, it seems quite low. But with a 15 finishing, a 16 off the ball, uh, and 16 pace, I think it's worth taking a look at him. 55 caps and 37 goals for Iran as well. I mean, that's a great... <laughs> tally 26 years old so still plenty of years to go i think you can bring him into a team uh in at least mid-table premier league and he can get you goals uh, he's still got a little bit of room to improve but a player nonetheless that can do a job for you and at that lower end price i think it's worth taking the risk next up victor saigankov the ukrainian right winger uh made 30 appearances already for the ukraine uh, and you can see why. I mean, absolutely rapid, fantastic technique, penalty taking, passing, and decent first touch and dribbling. He's a real deliverer of the ball, uh, cutting in on the right-hand side or down the left. You can see his, his wages aren't massive, but he is going to cost you a good bit of money to bring him into the side. But certainly, again, someone you should take a look at. Um, he's already wanted by the likes of Arsenal, Crystal Palace, and Tottenham. That probably shows you his, his range, so... European football, don't hate me, Arsenal and Tottenham, um, but probably the Europa League rather than Champions League. He could be better than that in the end because he is only 23 and he's got loads of room to improve, but someone that's definitely worth taking a look at with 60 goals in 125 appearances for Dynamo Kiev. He also bangs him in, so a player that can do it all. Next up is Noah Lang, a former Ajax Academy player, um, now at Club Bruges. Again, another young player, a young attacking player who can play anywhere in the up up top. He can play on the left, he can play on the right. Very, very versatile with good bit of flair, bravery and aggression, which you don't often see on a kind of winger wide player. Um, hasn't got great tackling and marking, so he may have that kind of mean streak, I should say. Um, a bit rash in the challenge, maybe, but a very, very good player. Finish uh, first touch and dribbling. Crossing's 14, passing's 14, technique's 15. He's got a wide range of ability. 
on the ball, creating chances, as well as obviously the ability to find those passes with the vision of 14 and 13 teamwork. Uh, jumping reach strength, not fantastic, but again, not necessary if you're playing him out wide. 22 years old, loads of rooms to improve. He will be cost you a fair bit, but nothing too bad really for what you're getting out of it and kind of a long-term player on that left or right-hand side. Next, we have Charles de Quetelere, a player that is big news at the moment. Club Bruges have been doing okay in the Champions League. I think, I believe it is the Champions League, but he has been fantastic for them. Um, he's made only one cap for Belgium so far, but at 20 years old, and as you can see, position-wise, he can play anywhere. He's six foot four, so a massive player, but he's also got godlike feet. Um, <laughs> the fact that he's got um, 15 first touch, uh, 17 flair, anticipation 16, off the ball 16. He's got a decent amount of pace for a bigger guy. Uh, not bad finishing, which I'm sure if you focus on that to improve, he could become one hell of a player. And one hell of a player you need to make sure you sign as early as you can. 15k wages, uh, range of 13 to 41 million. If you can get him to the lower end of that, it's an absolute steal. He came through the academy at Club Bruges. He hasn't been banging him in for them so far, but he will absolutely be up in his game as we've seen in real life at this season. Certainly someone to get on your team next we have pedro con galvez another 23 year old this might be a little bit of a cheat because sports um portuguese league is kind of was the fifth but then they dropped to sixth of the top leagues in europe so it's a bit contentious currently they're sixth so i'm counting it as down top five um He's a fantastic player. 17 to 51 million pounds he'll cost you. Two caps for Portugal at this stage. But again, only 23 years old. He looks fantastic. 17 finishing. 16 agility. Off the ball 16. Anticipation 16. Technique 16. I mean, first touch of dribbling at 15 as well. Whack him in the middle of the park. Whack him. I mean, you could, if anything, train him as a striker. And he could be unbelievable. With 17 finishing at 23, I think he's just wasted a little bit out on the right-hand side. I don't think his crossing's good enough. But get him in the centre, play him maybe as a shadow striker even, uh, and get him bombing forward into the box because he is a player that can make a real difference. You could see that from the stats as well. You can see after his move to Sporting, 23 goals and 32 appearances. That's ridiculous. He was at Wolves for a little bit. In Valencia as well, uh, and for Malikal, he wasn't fantastic. But after last year's performance, he's obviously got a massive upgrade with that finishing. And it is 100% worth bringing him in if you can get him, again, at the lower end. 17 million, bargain. Absolute bargain. Next is Gabriel Barbosa. A player that, if anything, I've gutted isn't still in a top five league. He's... He's 24 years old and he's back in Brazil applying his trade. 9 to 28 million from Flamengo. I mean, you've got to bring him in. 20 penalties, 16 technique, off the ball 18, finishing 15, first touch, dribbling. Absolutely rapid. He's one hell of a player. I mean, 12 caps, 3 goals for Brazil in real life. But you can see here, he moved from Santos to Inter. It just didn't work out. He played for Benfica. It, and it just it didn't quite work out in Europe, but you might be able to make it work with 14 goals in his first season, 17 and five in this one of the game. He he's obviously got the ability. He's he's well ahead in that regard. He's too good for the Brazilian league. He needs to come to Europe again. An excellent player, and at 24 years old, I mean, I continually think he's 28, 29 because of how long he's been around, but. Again, a player that you have to bring in if you can is 100% worth it. Might be a bit of a challenge with certain aspects, but you can see there, Arsenal and Chelsea won him. Understandably so. A fantastic player to have. Next up is Sebastian Haller. A bit of a strange one, you might think, um, but it's the price, mainly. Um, he's valued very highly on transfer market. Um, whereas in the game, he's obviously valued a lot lower. And because of that, I think he's 100% worth it. I mean, okay, he didn't 
he wasn't great for West Ham, but mate, I don't really think they used him to his full potential. As you can see, for Ajax, 11 goals in 19 games, that isn't bad at all. And he's banged him in before. I think he's a player that if you play to his strengths, it's 100% worth it. Granted, it's not the prettiest way, um, but with 18 strength, jumping reach and balance, all very, very high. Good bravery and good penalty taking and 15 finishing as well. He's a player that can really cause havoc for defenders. Two caps and one goal for Ivory Coast as well. So he's starting on his international career. 27, so a little later on. But it is his prime. It's it's get him, play him in a team that he is built around. And I, undoubtedly so, I think he could be great. Um, probably the weakest on the list, but still worth taking a look at. And finally, another Ajax player, which is... Ryan Gravenberch. Uh, there's not much to say. I'll be honest, he's excellent. 19 years old, already played multiple times for Holland. He's six foot three, so a big player in the center of the park. He's extremely well rounded and he will be absolutely incredible, I can assure you. Um, 17 million pounds to 50 million worth bringing in. If I mean, if you get for 17, that's ridiculous. You can see he's played for Ajax all his career so far. Even though he's only 19, he's played a hell of a lot of games and certainly worth being that player. I mean, he's kind of that Yaya Toure player, I'd say, with kind of the, the fantastically large stature, but quick, powerful, good dribbling and can strikeable as well. So I, I can certainly see him developing into a player like that but one who could even be play a little bit further forward than Yaya Toro used to. But there you go. Um, that is the end of the list. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you take on board a couple of these. Uh, let me know if I've missed any players out of the top five leagues uh, in the world that you should probably take a look at signing. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and I will catch you in the next one.